Metachromatic leukodystrophy, or MLD, is a rare lysosomal storage disorder that results from mutations in the ARSA gene, which codes for aryl sulfatase A, an enzyme that normally breaks down a fat called sulfatide. Without this enzyme, sulfatide accumulates in neurons and myelin-producing cells, like Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes, resulting in their degeneration. MLD is an autosomal recessive disorder, which means that two mutated copies of the gene, one from each parent, are needed to develop the disease. In rare cases, MLD can also be caused by mutations in the PSAP gene, which codes for saposin B, which is a protein that activates aryl sulfatase A. Without aryl sulfatase A, cells can't recycle sulfatides. The sulfatide accumulates within cells of the nervous system, like Schwann cells and oligodendrocytes, and aggregates to form intracellular granules. These sulfatide aggregates are called metachromatic since they appear differently colored from the cellular material when stained and seen under the microscope. Sulfatide granules interfere with the cell's ability to produce myelin, resulting in demyelination, or loss of the myelin sheath, of the neurons. The end result is impaired nerve impulse transmission. Demyelination in MLD occurs both in the central as well as the peripheral nervous system, resulting in a variety of symptoms. Common symptoms include peripheral neuropathy, which is the loss of sensation in the extremities, diminished deep tendon reflexes, visual disturbances, difficulty in speaking, difficulty in walking, ataxia, behavior and personality changes, and seizures. Now there are three forms of MLD based on the age at onset of symptoms, late infantile form, juvenile form, and adult form. In the late infantile form, symptoms develop within the first three years of life and include irritability and developmental delay. In the juvenile form, symptoms usually develop between the age of four years and adolescence, which is around 12 to 14 years of age, and include behavioral changes and decreased ability in school. In the adult form, symptoms usually develop after the age of 16 and include memory loss and psychosis. As the symptoms progress, all forms of MLD result in blindness, paralysis, unresponsiveness, dementia, and psychosis. Diagnosis includes blood tests to measure aryl sulfatase A enzyme activity in white blood cells, measurement of the urine sulfatide levels, and genetic testing to evaluate the ASA and PSAP genes. A brain MRI in a person with MLD shows areas of hyperintensities in the white matter regions, which indicates the loss of myelin. Currently, there's no cure for MLD, and treatment involves supportive care to manage symptoms. Usually, this involves an array of specialists, including neurologists to manage seizures, gastroenterologists to manage feeding, as well as occupational and physical therapists to assist with the tasks of daily living and mobility. In asymptomatic and mildly symptomatic MLD, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation can be used to slow down the disease progression. All right, as a quick recap. Metachromatic leukodystrophy, or MLD, is a lysosomal storage disorder characterized by accumulation of sulfatide due to decreased activity of the enzyme aryl sulfatase A. It's an autosomal recessive disorder caused by a mutation in the ARSA gene, or PSAP gene. There are three forms of MLD based on the age at onset of symptoms, late infantile form, juvenile form, and adult form. Common symptoms include peripheral neuropathy, which is the loss of sensation in the extremities, diminished deep tendon reflexes, visual disturbances, difficulty in speaking, difficulty in walking, ataxia, behavior and personality changes, and seizures. MLD is diagnosed by measuring aryl sulfatase A activity, urine sulfatide levels, and genetic testing. Treatment involves supportive care to manage symptoms and stem cell transplantation.